attack in that. the hands of the local man. Uh, we're glad that the weather is Ooh, yeah. back to where we prefer it in September. Yeah, love it. <laughs> yes, uh, very typical for us in the month of September. A, a far different picture than where we were just last week with the triple digit heat and still giving us those incredible sunset views. So overall, a nice week of weather starting to take shape here across the Pacific Northwest. Of course, that sunset right around 730 now, all thanks to the 13 Coins Hotel Indigo Tower camera. And you know what? It was a great evening to have a little bit of a bite outside this evening, just like this deer was out towards Astoria. Jeanette sending us that photo, and you too can share yours by scanning the QR code on your screen. That will direct you to coin.com, where we can continue the conversation over there. Right now, a beautiful live look out over downtown Portland on this Monday evening. Temperatures now falling back into the upper 60s as we keep that cloud coverage all the way through the sunrise hour. I anticipate by about sunrise to see a few breaks in the clouds, a little sliver of those sun rays poking their way through as we fall back to the upper 50s and then we prepare for more cloud coverage, keeping our temperatures lower than what we managed to get through today. 83 degrees here in the city, but that's still a couple of degrees higher than our average of 79. Also seen those 70s along the coast to keep them seasonally warmer. As for that cloud coverage still sticking over our heads here through the I-5 corridor, but we've already got our sights set on our next rainmaker. It comes in the form of a low pressure system currently developing and spinning out over the Gulf of Alaska. It's going to play into the cold front name, dropping our temperatures, increasing that rain potential as we move our way through the rest of this week. So there you go. There's the trough moving its way back into Western Oregon, Southwest Washington. That's where that wet weather will also be a welcome sight to our dry landscape. As it gets cut off from the main flow, that means the cooler than average temperatures are going to stay with us for at least the next week. So here it is all timed out with the future cast. There you go, the cloud coverage, a mix of it with the sunshine to start the day tomorrow. Then we see the clouds increase by the late afternoon and early evening time frame. Maybe a raindrop or two for the coastline as this onshore flow keeps the temperatures behaving into the 70s in many cases. But the brunt of this front really moving through our area after the midnight hour. I would not be surprised if maybe you see a bolt of lightning or hear a rumble of thunder embedded within some of these heavier downpours, especially as we work our way into about the 430 in the morning time frame again on Wednesday. And then we hold on to that scattered shower potential for the middle of the week taking us into Thursday, helping to fill up those rain gauges once again, close to about a quarter of an inch to a half inch for the Willamette Valley. Much of the same scene out along the coast as we anticipate a big cooling trend. Keep in mind, it was just on Thursday we hit 102, a record for the latest 100 degree temperature in the month of September. And now Wednesday, looking forward to the upper 60s. And then we stabilize in towards the low to mid 70s, still keeping us below that average of 79. So I've gone ahead and issued a flannel watch for the Pacific Northwest as the cooler and wetter weather makes a quick return. Of course, this is coming about 12 days out from the official start to the autumn season, which comes on September 22nd. 57 degrees, that's where we fall to tonight. It stays dry, but we will hold on to that cloud coverage for your morning commute tomorrow. A little bit of that sun glare to start the day off with, and then that cloud coverage does start to increase. 77 degrees, that's where we're heading to tomorrow with our seven-day forecast showing the brunt of the rain. Moving in Tuesday night, well after sunset, takes us into Wednesday, lingers Thursday as we get back up into the mid-70s Friday into Saturday, seeing a mix of the sun, the clouds, but I think that this forecast is a welcome sight for so many across our area. I look at all these 70s yeah. for the highs. I'm like, we hit 100 a few days ago. That's crazy. Uh, wild weather, weather whiplash uh, for the start of September for us. All right, back to September norms. Yes. All right, Jeff and Adam, over to you. Hey, it's almost 